to your loving arms, your loving arms, your loving arms. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Tell me about this guy. I was living large, man. It was great. It was self having a blast. It doesn't seem like yesterday. <laughs> it doesn't just seem like yesterday. Your loving arms. Oddly enough, I was a business major because I didn't know what to do. I'd never met a professional musician until I was 19. I look at it like it was a work lesson. It's like if you make yourself available for those things you don't want to do, you'll wind up doing them. A good attitude, you smile, you're on time, you say, I'm going to be here at 2, you're there at 1.50. People love that. Adults love that. American studies is something you carry with you and use Absolutely. it every day. It's like the best. It What's like, an example? It was an amazing lucky break, lucky thing for me because it was exactly what I'm interested in. I've heard you said that you wanted to be a rock star, <laughs> yeah. but at one point things kind of fell apart and it, you went to a, kind of a dark place. Yeah. I'm very interested in uh, the intersection of art and work. You know, that's a non-sexy way to talk mm -hmm. about it. It comes from a feeling that everyone is creative. Everyone has something. You, you, you know, I just came from my chiropractor's office. Oh my God, talk about an artist. You believe that, that everyone is creative. Yeah, everyone's creative at something. Yeah. I bought the fabulous Thunderbirds bus. Oh my God, what a mistake. What a nightmare, man. <laughs> I was doing gigs to support my bus. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was doing gigs to support the bus which I didn't want. Very easy to fall into those traps. Now I know if I could rent my clothes, I would. I want very few attachments. It allows me a lot of mobility. The only way I could know that is by getting attachments and realizing what that was doing to my life. Everyone has, everyone has something maybe a couple of things or multiple things that they're very, very uniquely poised to do. And the difference in, in people that sort of bring that into really fully into their lives are people that put in time and effort to nurture that thing. So I'm very interested here in my time at UT is showing students that it's possible to be creative. It's okay. And it's possible to be, it's okay to be a little weird, a little different, like wacky. We need more wacky people in the world. I knew Robert Earl when I was in college, you know, and he used to, do shows. We used to do shows together all the time. An Aggie and a Longhorn. He was an Aggie. Yeah. One, well, I remember there was one song pool where it was John Prine, Sarah McLaughlin, James McMurtry, and me. Sam Cooke, Jimmy Webb, James Taylor, Joni Mitchell, Emmy Lou Harris. Emmy uh, is like, she, she's like, you know, I fell in love with Emmy Lou Harris in high school, man. <laughs> well, Lyle Lovett is, a, is like from Mars, you know? He's just, <laughs> he's just different. I get Billy Joel. I get his, you know, like, I get the skill set. Personally, it's not something I really like. Yeah. I dig. Yeah. Gordon Lightfoot. Kelly Willis. Carol King. Ray Charles. Willie. Willie Nelson is, is like, you know, Moses, man. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's like, it's, we're all following Willie.